The Oklahoma Republican Party is a political party affiliated with the United States Republican Party GOP. Along with the Oklahoma Democratic Party, it is one of the two major parties in Oklahoma politics. As of the November 2012 elections, Republicans have a supermajority in both the Oklahoma Senate and Oklahoma House of Representatives, hold all statewide offices, and all congressional seats in both the House and Senate. This accomplishment is notwithstanding that the Republicans have fewer registered voters in the state than the Democrats as of January 15, 2014, there are 854,329 registered Republican voters in Oklahoma, compared to 885,609 Democratic voters and 238,874 voters registered as independent or with other parties. The current chair of the state party is Pam Pollard. Current structure and composition The Oklahoma Republican Party headquarters is located on North Lincoln Boulevard in Oklahoma City. Additionally, the state party has a Tulsa office on East 51st Street. They host the biennial state conventions in odd-numbered years, in which they elect executive officers and delegates to the Republican National Committee. The state party coordinates campaign activities with Republican candidates and county parties and receives some funding from the national GOP organizations. History Territorial period through 1930s The Oklahoma Republican Party takes its roots from the territorial period, gaining a larger portion of its support from the northwestern part of the state, where migrants from the state of Kansas brought with them Republican political leanings of the time. For most of Oklahoma history, the Oklahoma Republican Party has the fewest members in the Old Indian Territory or the area located in the southeast. Republicans held the American presidency during most of the territorial period, resulting in the appointments of Republican territorial governors. Despite the dominance of Republicans as governor and delegate, the two main parties had almost reached parity in the territorial legislature by statehood. The Republican at the time of statehood in 1907 was not the party of most Oklahomans, but was the party of most African Americans. Republican A.C. Hamlin was Oklahoma's first black legislator, serving in the first legislature of the new state. Republicans experienced a short lived resurgence in the early 1920s, with the election of John W. Harold in 1920 as the first Republican United States Senator for the state of Oklahoma. During this time, the Republican Party had gained a majority of the state's seats in United States Congress, attaining five of the nine seats available. The Oklahoma House of Representatives saw their first Republican majority and first Republican Speaker of the Oklahoma House of Representatives from 1921 to 1923. The first female member of the Oklahoma House of Representatives was a Republican. In the 1928 election, Republicans gained 26 new seats in the Oklahoma House of Representatives due in part to the low popularity of the time of presidential candidate Al Smith and the incumbent governor's stumping on his behalf. With a total of 47 seats, they were only five seats from having a majority. With 13 Democratic members, they elected a coalition Democratic speaker over the incumbent speaker, but it was the 1930s or the Great Depression that would prove to be the most troublesome for Republicans in Oklahoma. It was during this time that Republican voters had shifted their support to the revitalized Democratic Party. Late 20th century Beginning in the 1960s, the Oklahoma Republican Party made gains in voter registration and state legislative seats. Henry Bellman won election as Oklahoma's first Republican governor in 1962, by appealing to Democratic voters and as an anti-corruption candidate. Only 18% of Oklahomans were registered as Republicans at the time. Bellman's term helped increase the image of Republicans in Oklahoma. Under his administration, total highway projects increased 46% over the previous administration and the first retirement system for state employees was created. Bellman also oversaw the racial integration of Oklahoma schools and the court ordered reapportionment of the state electoral districts. Bellman won election to the United States Senate in 1968. Republican Don Nichols succeeded Bellman in 1980. 
In 1990, black Republican J.C. Watts was elected as Oklahoma's first black statewide officeholder, serving on the Oklahoma Corporation Commission, serving as a member of the commission from 1990 to 1995 and as chairman from 1993 to 1995. Topic: 21st century. After the 2004 presidential election, Republicans gained control of the Oklahoma House of Representatives for the first time since 1921. In 2010, Republicans increased their gains in the Oklahoma House of Representatives and took majority control of the Oklahoma Senate. Furthermore, Republicans captured every statewide office and came within six percentage points of capturing the second district, the only congressional seat that it did not already hold. In 2012, it would capture that seat as well and gain supermajority control of both chambers of the Oklahoma legislature. In 2015, the number of registered Republican voters overtook the number of registered Democratic voters for the first time in the state's history as of January 15, 2015, there are 886,153 registered Republicans, 882,686 registered Democrats, and 261,429 independent voters. Notable Oklahoma Republicans A. C. Hamlin, Oklahoma's first black state legislator after statehood George B. Schwab, first Republican Speaker of the Oklahoma House of Representatives Bessie McColgan, one of Oklahoma's first female state legislators John W. Harold, Oklahoma's first Republican U.S. Senator Governor Henry Bellman, Oklahoma's first Republican Governor Governor Dewey F. Bartlett Governor Frank Keating U.S. Senator Don Nichols Bud Wilkinson, legendary University of Oklahoma football coach lost 1964 U.S. Senate election to Fred R. Harris U.S. Representative J.C. Watts, Oklahoma's first black U.S. Representative U.S. Representative and U.S. Senator Tom Coburn U.S. Senator James Inhofe Governor Mary Fallon Topic: Current elected officials As of 2015 the Oklahoma Republican Party controls all 12 statewide offices and holds supermajorities in both the Oklahoma Senate and the Oklahoma House of Representatives Republicans also hold both of the state's US Senate seats and all 5 of the state's US House seats Topic. Members of Congress U.S. Senate James Inhofe James Lankford U.S. House of Representatives OK01, Jim Bridenstine OK02, Mark Wayne Mullen OK03, Frank Lucas OK04, Tom Cole OK05, Steve Russell State officials <laughs> Statewide offices Governor, Mary Fallon Lieutenant Governor, Todd Lamb Secretary of State, Chris Bench State Auditor and Inspector, Gary Jones Attorney General, Scott Pruitt Treasurer, Ken Miller State School Superintendent, Joy Hoffmeister Labor Commissioner, Melissa Houston, previously held by Mark Costello until his death Insurance Commissioner, John D. Doak Corporation Commissioners, Bob Anthony, Todd Hyatt and Dana Murphy Legislative leadership President pro tem of the Senate, Brian Bingman Senate Majority Floor Leader, Mike Schultz Speaker of the House, Jeff W. Hickman House Majority Floor Leader, Lee Denny <laughs> City officials Oklahoma City Mayor Mick Cornett Tulsa Mayor Dewey Bartlett
Topic: <laughs> Republican governors. As of 2018, there have been a total of 4 Republican Party governors. Topic: See also Oklahoma Oklahoma Democratic Party Oklahoma Libertarian Party Oklahoma's congressional districts Politics of Oklahoma Republican Party <inaudible>